Welcome to the Vanancer Studio. Today, I'm setting up a boho-inspired picnic. First, we need to protect our guests from sitting directly on the ground, then bring in the statement pieces. The focal point of today's design is this five-foot-tall canvas kids' play tent. I'll be complementing this piece with a low-lying table that's aligned with the front side of the tent so we get some beautiful leading lines in this design. Now, I'm using a fold-up camp table for easy transportation, but any low surface that you can lounge around will work. For instance, a coffee table or even some wood crates nestled all next to each other to give a beautiful dining area. Now we can get to the fun part of adding balloons to this design, and I'm using our new large organic balloon kit in boho blue. So if you like the colors I'm using today, all the balloons you see are included in this kit and will be available linked in the description box below. To build my organic garland, I'm going to inflate six balloons to a variety of sizes anywhere between six and nine inches in diameter to give me a beautiful organic look. Now I'm going to inflate two of these using a hand pump, but I highly recommend using an electric inflator because there's so many balloons to inflate. When once I have two of those inflated, I'm going to wrap the nozzles around twice and tie them in a simple knot, creating a pair. I'm going to make two more pairs just like this and then overlap two of those so that the nozzles touch right in the center, twist one balloon from each of those pairs around each other, locking them into a quad. Now to this quad, you're going to slip that third pair right into the center so that all the nozzles touch, and then twist one balloon from that pair around one balloon in the quad, and that will create a cluster of six. Now this cluster is made up of all 11 inch balloons, but some of my clusters also have one or two 17 inch balloons included in them. Simply inflate the 17 inch balloons until they're nice and round and then follow the same steps as the other cluster. Once you've made several clusters, it's time to tie them into a garland. In the kit, there's both 260s as well as monofilament line, and you can use either of those to tie the balloons together to create those garlands. I'm gonna be using 260s today, so I'm gonna take one end of that 260, press it against the nozzles of one of my clusters, pull it tight and wrap it in the figure eight pattern a couple times to secure it to that first cluster. Now I'm gonna grab my second cluster and nestle it right up against the first so there aren't any major gaps. Then you're gonna pull that 260 from the first cluster up through the center of this new one and then wrap it in a figure eight around two of the balloons of this new color, securing the two together. I'll continue to tie clusters together in this way until I have five clusters all secured in a mini garland for the front side of my tent. Once the last cluster is in place, take any remaining 260 tail and tie it in a double knot to one of the nozzles in that last cluster. To attach the garland to the tent, I'm going to be using a safety pin and a rubber band. Slip the safety pin through the rubber band and then pin it directly to the fabric of the tent. Close that safety pin and then we can use the rubber band to hold the garland in place. I did this at both the top as well as the bottom of the tent so we don't have to worry about the garland moving out of place. Hold the garland against the tent where you want it and then stretch the rubber band around the nearest balloon so that the rubber band goes all the way around that balloon and sits against the nozzles. This will hide the rubber band from sight but keep your garland nice and secure. I'm going to widen the garland at the base of the tent by adding a couple more clusters using rubber bands. Simply slip one of the rubber bands over a balloon in the new cluster and then slip that same rubber band over a balloon that's already in the garland and that will keep the two of them tied together. Now if you don't want to use rubber bands, you could always tie the nozzle of the new cluster to one of the clusters that's already in the garland and that would work just as well. With the bulk of the color and texture on the left side of the tent, I want to accent that by adding two little clusters on the bottom right side of the tent to give it a little bit of asymmetrical balance. Once I'm happy with the placement of the balloons on the tent, I'm going to take the rest of the balloons and tie them into a large garland to accent the wall behind my party space. By reusing the same elements, we can make the whole party space look nice and cohesive. When hanging a balloon garland, you don't have to hang it in a simple line. You can see the two hooks that I've placed are actually closer together than the full length of my garland, but by attaching it so I have a lot of extra length in the center, I can then zigzag my balloons and by twisting them around, I can add a lot of visual interest from a simple balloon garland. 
With all the large balloons in place, I'm gonna accent them with some five inch balloons that I've inflated to about four pumps of air each and tied them all into quads. Now I'm gonna use some glue dashes to stick these into my arrangement. And it's helpful to first place those little quads anywhere you think you have a gap or you wanna blend some more colors together. And anywhere that tiny balloon touches a large balloon behind it, that's where we're gonna place the glue dash. Remove the paper backing and then stick it back in place, holding for a few seconds so that the adhesive has a chance to set. And then I'm gonna repeat this process all across the balloons on the tent as well as the garland behind. Now it's time to add the cozy factor to this picnic. I'm gonna spread out a bunch of pillows, cushions, and blankets anywhere someone might wanna sit or lay, either around the table or in the tent. Now, I didn't just go out and buy all of these or have all of these myself. This is a great opportunity to reach out to friends and family and see if they have any pillows or cushions or blankets that might be in the color scheme that you're looking for so you don't have to buy dozens of pillows for your party or event. Now let's turn our attention to the tabletop. I'm gonna lay down these jute placemats that bring some warm color and texture. And on top of that, I'm gonna layer this light blue cheesecloth runner, weaving it loosely between the placemats and then water falling off both ends of the table. For the table's centerpiece, I simply paired a glass vase with a bouquet of dried bunny tail grasses. If you'd like to throw a laid back boho picnic of your own, I'll leave the balloon kit linked in the description box below, as well as any props I can find so you can recreate this look for yourself. So until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody!